Okay, so a new device interesting for everyone who is using Ableton Live with external MIDI hardware, especially with uh, eDrum hardware. So um, you might have seen this already. Uh, some manufacturers are using this way to um, describe and to edit their velocity curves. So um, this is the representation. You have an in on the X uh, value here and you have an out which will be scaled to an out on the Y. So you have a monitor down here as well so you will always see what kind of MIDI in and out you are creating. Okay, so for example if you just want to create a little threshold down here so you can move um, this button dot here to the right and you now have down up to 20 you can see this up here um, down to 20 or every velocity value under 20 now will be filtered and not go through and then it will be starting to uh, translate this to this from 1 to 127 up here okay so you might want to change this you might want to say okay i want a threshold with uh, 20 or up to 20 and then by 20 starting and it should play with the velocity of 20 you can do this like this okay so um there are a few things in ableton live um, where you can do this already there is this velocity device um, MIDI effect device which is great um, nothing wrong with that but if you want to create um, let's say um, a curve which is bent you really want to use this device because you can do it here so um, I create a few um, presets in the device as well so you have uh, some fixed or some uh, compressed uh, or some three zones or four zones presets already threshold linear and of course you can create your own you can create dots here and by pressing alt you can change those values in here and bend the curve as well so let's do this clear and new from the beginning again so you just press alt and then you can bend this curve and create a custom um, preset for the velocity curve which makes sense for you to play regarding your MIDI hardware and regarding the sounds you are playing. So you can save this of course in your user library. Okay, I already created one and you can recall this of course anywhere in any project you need to. So what's interesting here as well is if you have different sounds, oh I already did this, okay so if you have different sounds for example in a drum rack or this could be a, a MIDI instrument rack or an instrument rack as well, you just create different chains or in the key selection you create different change chains there. Um, let's do this with a drum rack. So let's say we have different uh, sounds which should be uh, reacting to a different velocity curve so we can create this by just going in here and have those um, for example this kick here um, let's add a threshold here and let's go to the next sound and let's create something else in here maybe have fixed high for example so now those uh, ve different velocity curves will all only affect those um, two sounds in here and they will be affected differently <laughs> 